Hey guys, my name is Turgo Live. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And today, what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to make it where the window capture no longer shows as a black screen when you do fire up uh, that in OBS Studio. Okay. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull up OBS. And essentially, what happens is you have a black screen and there's nothing you can really do about it. So, what you have to do is you actually have to go into Chrome. And then again, this is for Chrome users. If you have Firefox or in, uh, Internet Explorer, it's a little bit different. Um, but what you're going to have to do is you, this is what happens is you have a black screen that does show up right here. And then what you're going to have to do is fire up Chrome. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here and click on the settings here. And when you click on the settings or the three dots up in the upper corner, this is for 2019, you're going to go down to settings right here. And then I'm already on this page, but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down. Um, and then you're going to have to click on the advanced option. Okay. The advanced option. And then when you're there, it's going to show here, at the bottom yet again you can go past all the clear browsing data everything like that what you're gonna do is right here where it says use hardware acceleration when available okay what you're gonna have to do there is a blue circle right here you're gonna have to click that and then you're gonna have to relaunch Chrome okay now here it is it's back again but when you tab back over to um, OBS, it's going to show here. So if I pull up my window capture, of course, it's going to show a little bit differently here. But if you make sure you have it with the match title, otherwise find window of same executable, as well as settings, Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, for some reason, it pulled up a different tab. But that's how you get rid of the black screen. I hope that this does help. Again, this is uploaded in 2019. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you so much.